Hey everybody, how are you doing? Today we are looking at a new pair of closed back, around the ear headphones called the uh, Mezzi 99 Classics uh, with uh, gold. So they are the gold highlights. They also come in a silver highlight color and another alternative for the wood cup material. So as I said before, they have um, around the ear design and closed, and they actually sound really, really awesome. So they retail for around three hundred dollars. I think they're pretty close to three ten right now, MSRP. Uh, but for that amount, you know, I was a big fan of the Momentum's back in the day. These have kind of replaced. Uh, they kind of have a similar look and feel and ear cup shape, but. Realistically, uh, these guys, they sound so amazing. They have a really good bass. I would say the bass is slightly inflated, so more than the Sennheiser HD 650, uh, and definitely farther up than neutral, but still a good, fun sound, and not like crazy big. Larger, but not overly too much. Uh, they really sound have a really fun sound overall, and that is also contributed by the treble, which seems to include like a little more wider bandwidth, if you want to call it that, up there. So there's a little bit of an emphasis on the treble, but it sounds really fun, not overbearing, not piercing. The mids, they don't sound recessed, they don't sound too far forward. So the frequency, even though it's slightly exaggerated, maybe just a hair on the treble and the low end especially. I don't say that treble is accentuated, but it's, it's a little bit fun sounding uh, than what you might typically get on a regular neutral audiophile flat sound signature. Uh, it's just really, really fun sounding headphone and good all arounder for $300. Uh, I recommend it if you have a chance to check it out. It is, it is kind of a fun little thing. The build is, is, it's solid. It's got a really good kind of luxurious feel, like a really kind of high end ish. Uh, vibe going on here. The band it, it has a great suspension system. I know some small noticed some small microphonics with this steel band that goes around the top edge. However, it's really not a big deal if you don't bang it against something. So like you hear it if you if you were to like headbutt a wall, but you don't really ever do that scenario. So you're pretty good listening to it. It also has a de detachable cable included with the package is um, one long cable and then a shorter one that has the, your standard type of phone connection. So when you buy the package, at least the way it was when I got it, it has both inside. They're packaged up in a very nice little um, separate Velcro pouch that fits right inside the lovely case it comes with. So the whole package, all in all, is very superb. Kind of a nice high-end feel. You get a lot, I feel like, for the money and also, like I mentioned, you get the two cables, so there's versatility if you want to just like sit with an amp at home, that'll work. On the plane, you can obviously pop them on, pop it into your phone, and you can still control the stuff through the, ca the cable. So, what's my final verdict on this thing? I really like them. I, in fact, it's probably one of my favorite $300 headphones that I've come across in a really long time. I mean, it's just superb on so many fronts in terms of build, construction, sound, and the price. The price is pretty good. It comes with a lot of fun accessories and a great little uh, case as you see here. So uh, I really enjoy this headphone. And again, it's the Mezzi Classics 99 Golds. And if I mispronounce the name, I'm sure you can let me know in the comment section. But uh, <laughs> that's how M-E-Z-E -E is how it's spelled. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great one. Bye.